All right, welcome. We are going to look at Walking in Memphis. Yes! Challenging song. Shockingly challenging. <laughs> Yeah. Because Brett has the best attitude ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Shockingly challenging. So I'm here to kind of sing a little bit just to help to place some of the song parts. And Brett's here to teach you how to play this awesome song. Absolutely. We're going to be looking at a lot of different sections. The most iconic one and the one we're going to start with is the intro section to this whole song. So pretty. Um, it has four chords to it. It has an F5, so an F with no third, then a G with no third, then a C with no third, and an A with no third. So that would be a first good way to practice this, is just play. So your left hand and right hand are playing the same notes, just an octave apart from each other. And once you have a five finger pattern, you kind of are locked into that shape for all four of these chords. And you can just play them solidly like this for a while and just get that pattern comfortable. And then you'd want to break it up and go. And once that becomes comfortable, you'd probably want to add a metronome to it. Because this rhythm's crazy. These rhythms aren't where you'd imagine them to be. Mm. If I just played this kind of like freely and just played it as I was now, you'd hear it as one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, but that's not what this song does. No. Every accent is anticipating the next strong beat, anticipating beat one, anticipating beat three. So um, the very beginning starts on a beat, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Can we add some singing to this? We can certainly try. Give it a shot? All right. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane. Touchdown in the land of the Delta Blues in the middle of the pouring rain. It just carries on and carries on and carries on. Super cool. So that's the verses, basically. That's the verses, basically. Now we need a chorus. I think this might be my favorite part of the song. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what I would do is focus on the accents. We've got the chords walking in Memphis. Like what you were playing essentially, because you were using F G mm -hmm. A minor. So the F, chords G, are F G C A minor. And you've chosen a specific kind of voicing here. Yeah, I'm just picking a nice open one five one in my left hand. Okay. And then completing a whole triad in my right hand. Gotcha. So this is right down near middle C, so it has this rich kind of kind of meaty area of the piano. And um, everything is a push and accent except for the start of the phrase. Okay. So it's like one, two, and three, and four, and one, and 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 two, I love this part. You kind of like hang in space for a moment. Mm -hmm. Hang in space for a moment. So the intro to the second verse um, has a new feel. It's kind of a guitar pattern. It actually might be a guitar pattern. Okay. But in the left hand, it goes. It's so pretty. So I think about that rhythm. One, two, do, 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 do. So that's the first half of the verse. Okay, so you just kind of work over top of that vocally. If you're singing mm -hmm. along, it's incredibly difficult to sing and play this one yeah. at the same time. So that's why there's two of us mm -hmm. here. 
Yeah. Or play along to the recording. This yes. is in the same key as the original, so you can go ahead and overlay your own playing on top of, on top of the recording that we know and love. Um, halfway through the verse, it switches hands, and this pattern goes to your right hand. Yes. And then we get a bass part. The bass part goes one. Big shot, and we're into a chorus Walking again. In Memphis. Yeah, so let's try those together really, really slowly. Down in the jungle room, yeah, I'm walking in Memphis. chords we haven't seen before. We're headed into the bridge of the song Ooh. and we have a C7 sus. So in your right hand, this looks exactly the same as an F sus. It does. Because we've got, you know, you'd have an F triad here and then you're raising that third to the B flat. But there's a C on the bottom. So this is the seventh. This is the C, the root of this chord. Okay. And this is the suspended bit that drops back down to give you this bluesy C7 chord. So we've got a bar of this, and a bar of this. That little bluesy section, halfway through the bridge, we go into this E7. Revan Green, be glad to see you. Okay, walk okay. that slow. So this is an F7. Okay, well you slid into it with the G sharp and that's what made it cool. Mm -hmm. I do that the second time around. I okay, okay. So I'm moving this whole F7 up to this B flat chord. See that is a B flat triad. F on the bottom, and then back down to the F7. But the second time, you're right, I slid, slid from that um, yeah, G sharp or A flat up this to makes it. Sound extra mm -hmm. And then this walk up F sharp diminished chord. We've got the next verse from there, we've got a double chorus from there, and then we're coming back down to the intro that we know and love. So the parts that we've already learned are just kind of cycling through Absolutely. the song as you go. There's one little section that kind of combines all of the things together, okay. where it's got that verse two feel in the right hand, and um, the accents from the verses in the left hand too. So okay. that gets a little tricky. So we've got our verse two section that we were doing in our left hand. Yes. Is now in the right hand in the same octave. What? Down here. Just keeping us on our toes or yeah. our fingers. Keeping us on our fingers. <laughs> then we're back into the okay, let's so do one more time a little bit more slowly. Yeah. If, if I were going to really want to play along, because this is in the original key. So you yep. can take all of these parts that we're learning, and you can actually just go play along with the original and have a lot of fun. But this this little bit, let's work that through a little more slowly. Yeah, let's go really slowly. One and two and three and four and...
Now I'm walking. I'm walking. So, <laughs> and it's such so a catchy on. song. You can't come off of that and then not right. go to the chorus. Your brain just has to go there. <laughs> yeah, all the hardest parts end with going this and singing. Walking in Memphis. <laughs> you get stuck, just do that. Just do that. Just go yeah. back to the chorus. Okay, right. so the ending of the song basically just circles you back around to yeah. the first verse of it, which I think mm -hmm. we should play. I think you should demonstrate it, and I think the world needs to hear your voice, so I think you should sing it. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> the last verse of yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So you've come, you've come through your double chorus, and now you're here. Okay. Back to that original pattern. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane. Touchdown in the land of the Delta Blues, in the middle of the pouring rain. Touchdown in the land of the Delta in the middle of the pouring rain down. C chord yeah. Nice low open C chord like that It's a great voicing for it Nice and slow as a pause and that's the end of Walking in Memphis. You got it. So now it's up to you to do the practice. Mm -hmm. If you want a more guided approach, a step-by-step, -step, dive into the sheet music, access to all of the practice tools, you can come join us inside Piano for a full version of this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you around. See you. Saw the ghost of Elvis.